Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is not just another warship, it's a significant milestone for the Philippine Navy as it represents a new era of modernization and capability. Launched as the lead ship of the Jose Rizal class frigates, this vessel was designed to provide the Philippines with a modern and flexible platform capable of addressing a wide range of maritime challenges. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea and commissioned into service in 2020, the ship is named after Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines, which gives it both symbolic and strategic importance. From the moment it entered service, it has stood as a symbol of the country's growing commitment to safeguard its sovereignty, strengthen maritime security, and play a more prominent role in regional defense cooperation. At first glance, the Jose Rizal FF-150 impresses with its sleek, modern design. Unlike older Philippine Navy ships, which were mostly hand-me-downs from allied nations, this frigate was purpose-built with contemporary naval standards in mind. It features a low radar cross-section design, meaning it has been shaped and built to reduce its visibility to enemy radar systems. This stealthier profile gives it an advantage in both defensive and offensive operations, as it can approach targets or navigate contested waters with a smaller chance of early detection. The angular surfaces and minimized protrusions reflect modern naval architecture, drawing inspiration from other advanced frigates around the world, but adapted to meet the specific needs and budget of the Philippines. In terms of performance, the BRP Jose Rizal is powered by a combined diesel and diesel CODAD propulsion system, which uses four diesel engines to achieve a balance between power and fuel efficiency. This system allows the ship to reach speeds of around 25 knots, which is fast enough for most maritime operations, while also maintaining an operational range of over 4,500 nautical miles at cruising speed. What this means in practical terms is that the ship can operate for long periods without refueling, a critical feature for a country like the Philippines, with its vast maritime territory and dispersed archipelago. Its endurance makes it suitable not only for defensive patrols but also for extended missions such as search and rescue operations, humanitarian assistance, and joint naval exercises with allies. The Jose Rizal FF-150 is armed with a respectable suite of weaponry designed to engage threats in the air, on the surface, and even beneath the waves. Its primary gun is the Oto Malara 76mm Super Rapid Naval Gun mounted on the bow, a versatile weapon capable of firing at surface ships, aircraft, or even incoming missiles. For close in defense, the ship is fitted with secondary weapons such as 30mm guns and machine guns, ensuring it can handle smaller, fast-moving threats like patrol boats or pirates. The frigate also comes equipped with torpedo launchers for anti-submarine warfare, which adds another layer of versatility to its combat profile. While some of the more advanced systems, like vertical launch missiles, were not initially installed due to budgetary considerations, the ship was designed with, fitted for but not with, spaces. This means it can be upgraded in the future to carry more sophisticated weapons such as surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missile systems. This forward-thinking approach allows the ship to remain relevant and capable for decades to come. One of the most critical components of the Jose Rizal is its combat management system, which integrates data from all its sensors and weapons into a single, centralized platform. This system enables the crew to detect, track, and respond to multiple threats simultaneously with greater efficiency. The frigate is equipped with advanced radar and sonar systems, allowing it to detect enemy ships, aircraft, and submarines at considerable distances. The ship's electronic suite includes electronic warfare capabilities, giving it tools to jam enemy communications or defend against radar-guided weapons. These features make the vessel a true multi-role platform, capable of shifting from peacetime operations like maritime patrols and humanitarian missions to high-intensity combat scenarios if required. Another noteworthy feature of the BRP Jose Rizal is its aviation capability. The ship has a flight deck and hangar capable of supporting a naval helicopter, such as the Augusta Westland A-159 Wildcat. The helicopter significantly expands the frigate's reach, allowing it to conduct anti-submarine warfare, surveillance, and even limited strike missions far beyond the range of its onboard sensors and weapons. The ability to launch and recover a helicopter also enhances the ship's versatility during non-combat missions, such as delivering relief supplies or conducting search and rescue operations in remote areas. 
From a human perspective, the design of the Jose Rizal reflects an emphasis on crew comfort and efficiency, a step forward from the older vessels the Philippine Navy has operated. The ship accommodates around 65 officers and enlisted personnel, with living quarters, mess facilities, and modern amenities designed to support extended deployments. This focus on crew welfare is essential, as sailors often spend weeks or months at sea, and maintaining morale directly impacts the ship's overall effectiveness. Beyond its technical specifications, what makes the BRP Jose Rizal stand out is its symbolic value for the Philippines. For decades, the Philippine Navy relied heavily on aging vessels transferred from allies, many of which were relics of World War II. With the commissioning of the Jose Rizal, the Philippines demonstrated that it could field a modern, purpose-built warship that can hold its own alongside regional navies. This step forward boosts not only national defense but also national pride, as the ship represents progress and modernization. Moreover, its presence in the fleet has allowed the Philippine Navy to participate more actively in international maritime exercises, enhancing cooperation with partners such as the United States, South Korea, Japan, and other ASEAN nations. When looking at unique selling points, the flexibility and upgrade potential of the Jose Rizal are particularly noteworthy. While some critics have pointed out that the ship was delivered without its full weapon suite, this modular design ensures that the frigate can be gradually upgraded as the budget allows. In other words, the platform is future-proof, giving the Philippines the ability to add advanced missile systems and other enhancements over time. This approach strikes a balance between affordability and long-term capability, making the frigate an excellent investment for a developing navy. In practice, the BRP Jose Rizal has already proven its value by participating in various naval exercises and real-world missions. Its advanced sensors, communication systems, and weaponry allow it to integrate seamlessly with allied fleets, which is critical in an era where multinational cooperation is essential for maintaining regional security. Whether patrolling the contested waters of the West Philippine Sea, supporting humanitarian missions during natural disasters, or contributing to international maritime stability, the Jose Rizal provides the Philippine Navy with a versatile and dependable asset. In summary, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is far more than just a ship, it's a statement of intent. It combines modern design, respectable firepower, advanced electronics, and future upgrade potential into a single platform tailored to the Philippines' needs. It may not yet rival the most powerful destroyers and frigates in the world, but it doesn't have to. Instead, it provides the Philippine Navy with a capable and credible tool for protecting its maritime domain, supporting its people, and contributing to regional peace. For a nation that has long dreamed of modernizing its naval forces, the Jose Rizal represents both a practical leap forward and a powerful symbol of national pride.